Hello, I'm back. In this video, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, make some uh, borax separators, <clears throat> including hopefully a, a thin uh, film separator without using paper at all. But uh, I need a borax separator to uh, start testing the, uh, the battery, or borax separation in the battery. So what I'm going to do is, this is a wax paper here. I'm going to cut a little strip of this. And I'm going to try just using that as a separator by itself because I've never tried borax before. And, and then this is a regular sheet of, uh, of uh, typing paper. And I'm going to cut off a little strip of that. And I've used this before, but the reason I'm cutting these strips right here is because I'm going to uh, soak them in, uh, in borax. Now this is a saturated solution of borax that I made, and I'm just going to dip my finger in there and rub that on there. of paper that's well coated with borax and I'll let that dry or set it aside and let it dry for a while at least I'm ready to make the first battery and then we'll do the same thing with this piece of wax paper make a little strip of them I'll be able to get four or five separators out of each of these try to make a thin film version of it. Or a slightly different version of it anyway. <coughs> now this time I'm going to do the same thing. side of it at a time. Let me get my finger cleaned off here. Some of this excess off the table. Now here's the tricky part coming up. There's a clean cup right here. And this is a mix of um, about 25-30% um, white glue and distilled water. Okay, and if I take just a little bit of this, put it in there. Half a milliliter maybe. Alright, and this is uh, some uh, cellulose acetate from uh, cigarette filters and 
dissolved in acetone. And I'm going to take a little bit of that, mix it together. hits that, uh, hits that borax, it turns into a film, like, immediately. That chunk could build up on that already? And now, we'll take that, set that aside, clean up the mess here. same thing with the wax paper. faster on the next one. I'll use the other side of the container for this one. on her paper. Clean my finger again. Should actually, I'll just suck it off my finger. How about that? Borax is good for you. Alright. Clean finger. <laughs> so now, let's dump our acetate in there. And mix it real fast and Get it on the paper. All right, look at the clump we got there. Need to figure out though, maybe a spray bottle or something to spray it on there. That's definitely going to end it. This dries fast, too. This one over here. Look how shiny that is already. See that? I don't know if you can see it or not. <coughs> I made uh, This was the very first test that I did. And I made it real thin and just spread it out all over, just poured it on the wax paper and let it run around. And it makes a, it makes a film. Look at that. It, it needs to be better than that. So. so now let's set this one aside and we'll let that dry and uh, I'll be back a little bit later with the uh, and we'll make a, a new battery and try some of this stuff. I've got uh, 
Here's the new microspheres. I just fresh batch. I just made up from. Um, it's got uh, in graphite, a little sunflower lecithin, distilled water, and uh, phosphoric acid in it. And here's the uh, anode material. And this is a 50-50 mixture of uh, trisodium phosphate and uh, titanium dioxide. And uh, the trisodium phosphate is a uh, saturated solution in the water. There. Okay, and I'll be back, as Arnold would say. Thanks for watching.